using the latest techniques, teeth from the Weymouth Relief Road burial pit have been analysed, revealing that the decapitated skeletons are Scandinavian. The mass grave of young men, now known to be Vikings, is a unique find that has excited archaeology enthusiasts. Remains of ten individuals from the execution pit have been painstakingly processed by Dr Jane Evans and Carolyn Chenery at NERC Isotope Geosciences Laboratory in Nottingham. The isotope analysis um, we do, we start with a tooth, we have to cut the tooth up and separate out just the enamel. We then dissolve that, um, we separate out the strontium or the oxygen by chemical methods and when we've got that, we then use a mass spectrometer to do the actual isotope analysis and get the ratios of the elements we're interested in. The oxygen isotope results from, from the Dorset individuals were particularly unusual in that they all had signatures that indicated that they came from a very cold climate. Mm. One individual in particular had an isotope value that was so low that he's very likely to have come from north of the Arctic Circle. And, and looking at, at these results and combining them with the strontium results that were not usual for the place of burial, we decided that they, the most likely place of origin was somewhere in the Scandinavian countries, um, Norway and Sweden or, or Finland. Oh, the results from Dorset were spectacular and very unusual. Um, the individuals had signatures that were clearly um, not of British origin and as such, it's very unusual for us to see these kind of samples found and discovered in Britain. Well, they, they were fantastic results. Oxford Archaeology spent two months in the summer of 2009 carefully removing the skulls and bodies from the ground. The result's extremely exciting. It means that we can actually go on from here to actually um, look at the historical context. We can take our interpretation of the feature a little bit further and, and we know effectively now what we need to be looking at in, try, in terms of trying to work out what's actually gone on there. So it's, it's very, very important for us to have in excess of 50 um, individuals um, killed in a, a very brutal way, all deposited together from a time period like this when you know we do not have a lot of this sort of evidence. Um, this is special and I, I can honestly say that I don't think I and probably most other um, archaeologists working in the country today have seen um, many um, burial pits like this. We clearly know that we have a certain number of individuals, they're all um, young males, sort of fighting age, fairly robust and reasonably fit, and they've been executed by having their heads cut off and their bodies have been dumped in a pit in a very prominent location on a ridge between two of the main towns in Dorset on what would even then have been at the side of the main road. They were um, almost certainly Vikings, they could have been part of um, a raiding party, a, a localised raiding party, or they could have been part of a much larger um, army that was working its way across the south of England, um, or they could have been some, um, it could have been part of a, a more local dispute. The injuries on the bones um, are quite interesting in that most of the injuries relate to the execution. We've got lots of cut marks around uh, the necks, the jaws, the shoulder blades, the top of the spine. It was really telling us that it was, it's quite a messy job. Quite a few of them were either not killed with one blow or their head was not taken off with one blow. But something like this really does come along um, only on very rare occasions. Um, it's an incredible find. Um, uh, the sort of thing that when you when you get the call on it, your you, your heart is in your mouth and you just can't wait to get out to site and, and have a look at it. Here in Dorset, we're all extremely enthusiastic about the county's archaeology and history, and the County Council project of the Weymouth Relief Road has been a wonderful opportunity to reveal more of that archaeology. The finds, including the Viking burial, are really rather spectacular and have generated a great deal of public interest. Uh, and we're hoping that after full study by the experts that we reveal lots of useful further information, that material will be brought back to the county. We're hoping it will go to the Dorset County Museum uh, so that it will then be available for experts and the people of Dorset to, to further study and enjoy.